Welcome back to breastlove.org. Just a little bit about Rabbi Nachman's opinion of, of uh, alcohol, alcoholic beverages. Rabbi Nachman was very against his followers <coughs> drinking, over drinking. It's understood that there are exceptions like Shabbat and Yom Tov. Purim, for example, it's a mitzvah to get drunk. And the four cups of wine on Pesach, Shabbat, we have Kiddush. But Rabbi Nachman was very much against a person overdoing it. For sure during the week, and even on the holidays, except for Purim, like we just said, not to overdo it. What is really behind the reason? What's the reason here behind not getting, uh, not, uh, to, to avoid getting drunk? Is that a person is not really themselves when they're overcome by intoxication. The person loses the control of their, ma- their mind, their thoughts. It's, it's another entity overpowering a person who they really is. And because of that, if a person now loses their free will, of what value is their life and their living if it's preconditioned and pre-controlled? This goes with alcohol, this also with drugs, etc. Where a person uses a substance that in a sense gives over control so a person is not all longer in charge of his life. For this reason, Rabbi Nachman was very against this because Rabbi Nachman pushed people to work on themselves from the perspective, from the point of being who they really are. It's so because of that, Rabbi Nachman was against drinking. His advice, do your best to be who you are. Your problems of depression and sadness, think of the positive advice and attitude and weapons you have in the Torah to combat these negative issues, negative attitudes. Use the weapons given by the Torah, given by the tzaddikim, and not necessarily to take another person's bottled or pilled version.